like honey. Hi ladies and gentlemen, today's recipe is going to be a simple one, not a lot of ingredients. Those are the red dates that I have picked from the branch. I wash them well and I wait for them to get brown. Later, when they get brown, they will be sweeter and are going to be ready for the molasses. Okay, I left them for one day and you can see that some of the dates becoming browner. They are getting brown. The dates do not get brown simultaneously, so I leave them for extra three days. They are still hard. I need them to tenderize more and more. So I leave them for three days more and we'll see the result. If you don't have those red fresh dates, you can buy tender brown ones from the stores. You can use any type of dates that are available, but you need to look for the brown tender virgins. After several days, the uh, red dates become this dark brown color and they are ready. Any kind of dates will work for this recipe. First we need to remove the kernel or the seed from inside and what we need for the recipe is the pulp. You can remove the outside skin but it's okay if you leave it. You can do that manually or you may use a knife. Pay attention for the bad ones. You may find bad dates that may affect the whole recipe. You may squeeze them a little bit like this. If you don't like this way, you may use a knife instead. By squeezing the dates like this, we may have a better result. For the molasses. After I finished removing the kernels and smashing the dates like this, I'll put them on fire for 30 minutes. This is two kilos and a half to three kilos almost. And let's start the first stage. I want the water to cover it to this level, almost one centimeter over the dates. I need them to boil from 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Now it's ready. I let it cool down. Then we'll move to the next stage. I left it for three hours to cool down and here it is ready for the next stage. I'm gonna use this type of a cloth which has this texture. As we can see there are little holes. This is the same that I have used with pomegranate molasses. This type of a cloth we use it to make cheese and uh, it is uh, available everywhere. I'm going to also use a trainer like this one and a pan, as you can see. We'll put the cloth here. It is still hot, so pay attention to the heat. 
keep squeezing like this and let the liquids come out of it till is until there is nothing to come out you can use something heavy and put it on the top here and let it drain for a while but I'm going to do that manually keep squeezing until I have all the liquids out Here are the leftovers and if you actually taste them, they have no taste, nothing, no sweetness. And now I put it on medium fire, stir the liquid every 10 minutes. As you can see, bubbles start to appear on the surface. Don't panic, just keep stirring. And of course, every 10 to 15 minutes give it a, a minute of a stirring as you can see the amount of liquid is decreasing after more than 40 minutes After one hour, the liquid is decreasing more and more. After one hour and a half, the foam at the surface is actually turning to lighter brown color. After two hours, we are close to the end. After two hours and a half, the color is getting darker and the smell is really amazing. I wish you could smell it. You can try the recipe, smell the amazing aroma and taste the delicious date molasses. It's really perfect. Look at those beautiful colors. We are almost in the last stage. We have passed two hours and a half. The recipe will take around three hours to be ready. So we have three kilos of dates and three hours of cooking in the final stage. Okay, we are almost done after two hours and uh, 45 minutes the bubbles getting heavier and heavier and this indicates that it's ready I'll turn off the fire then I'm going to let it cool down and I'm going to show you the texture later okay here is the amount of date molasses that we get from three kilos I put it in the fridge so that we can have this texture. It is almost like honey. And believe me, the taste 
is like the caramel or maybe better. Okay, what do you eat this with? Here in the Arabic countries we are used to eat it with tahini. Yes. And we eat it with bread. This is actually pita bread and it is made of wheat. Uh, yeah. It's not white uh, flour, this is wheat flour. Nothing better than that. It's very, very tasty and fantastic. What else can we eat it with? You can add it to fruit salad. You can add it to um, to the cakes, and it will be um, it will give it a very nice taste. You can add it to the barbecue sauce to use it instead of honey, and it's really it has really some a flavor that is like um, cinnamon, as if there is a natural cinnamon put inside it. It's really fantastic. I hope that you like this recipe and if so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching again. Share this video with your friends and share this recipe. Bon appétit.